Welcome to my channel, Scripture Writing by Honey. We are about to do the daily scripture writing for day 17. And it is, focusing, we are focusing on that it is um, Ephesians 6.10, July 17, Ephesians 6.10, Inspiring Women. So before I begin, I'd like to tell everybody welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be great. I appreciate it. So again, 610 Ephesians. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. 6 and 10. So where is it at? Right here. Very short. We'll probably do four versions. Like I always do. So it says, Finally, let the mighty strength of the Lord make you strong. Wow. So... Finally, let the Lord, let, let the mighty strength of the Lord make you strong. I'm already rewording it. Like, I'm giving it its own version, a new version for me. Well, that was already. So, yeah. How is everybody doing? And how is your scripture writing coming along? I am caught up, which is a great thing. I'm not letting, you know, the devil put me down or anything. Or hold me back. I am just doing what I have to do. So that is a simplest version, right? It's so easy. We are going to put... Oh, wait. That was a CEV... CEV... Ah, I can't even speak. CEV version. We were supposed to do the NCV version first. NCV. Oh, say this a couple of times. So let's see what the NCV version says. That is the CEV version. Sorry if I'm confusing you. Uh, this is 12? No, we need 10. Okay. So 10. Finally be strong in the Lord and his great power. Let's repeat it back. Wow, it's only two minutes in this video finally be strong in the lord and his great power so i'm gonna go ahead and write that and obviously we could do another one because it's not a long one and if you don't know any of the words you know define it define the word then you understand the word it's always best to do that and I always write, I've been now always writing the versions that I'm doing. Because I get more of an understanding with each version. Finally be strong in the Lord and in his great power. A little powerful one there. So that is the NCV version. Let's do another one. I'm liking this. And this is my um, bullet journal, if you're questioning. What is that? So we did the NCV. We did the CEV, right? CEV, NCV. So now we're going to do... We did this one. We did that one. We're going to do the ESV. Where is 10 at? And if we don't need to write it, we won't write it. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might. So that's a new version as well. So we're noticing that it's about being strong in the Lord. Oh, my battery's about to die. Let me put the charger on. I have this long... Uh, where did it go? There you go. A long charger cord. It's like super long. Give me one second. I'm going to put you on pause. Okay, sorry about that. I had to lift it up a little bit too as well. So we're noticing being strong in the Lord and His great power or His great might. So finally, we're going to write, be strong. And I like doing this. I don't know. It's just getting to learn each version and what the versions stand for. It's pretty interesting. I love when you see the whole page just written in. Instead of just a blank page. In the Lord. And. In. 
think it's really interesting how each version has a different word. So they have the might. This is the ESV version. Okay, just writing it down. So we have the might. We have, let's go back. That's already three. We done. We have the strong and we have the power. So strong, power, and might. It's pretty interesting, right? So the next one we're going to see is verse 10. Okay. So let's go in here. The KJV version. Verse 10. Okay, so let's see what the KJV says. Finally, be brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. So that's a good one to write. And then again, I'm going to... I don't think I did the word brethren yet as one of my words. And then you can see by the words I've done is the ones that are highlighted. Inequity, both dress. Yeah, so no, I haven't did that one. So I will um, work on that as well later. So if you know what brethren means without like Googling it or anything like that, leave it in the comments below. And again, this is the KJV. I don't know why I said it like that, but yeah, it's the KJV version. And the only one I think was in red or no, it was all black. Oh no, they were all black ink. The last, um, scripture reading for planning with Maserati one was in red and it was you know the same verse and the other one was in black of his might and I'm gonna go ahead and circle this word so I know what I'm gonna do with it and this is the KJV now let's see if there's any more before I let you go so we have the, oh, the NLT. So it's the KJV, ESV, NCV, CEV. So it's going to be the NLT. So let's click on this one. Just making sure that I did not do NLT. And I did everything else. So I, I like to flip back a lot. So CEV, NCV, ESV, KJV. So we're on the NLT. And a final word, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. So instead of finally, it's a final word. So it's very interesting how different each verse, you know, can bring you the same thing. Just by one word or two words. So strong, um, might, power. Could bring you the same thing. It's very interesting how it links up with each other. But that is how I do my scripture writing. I like to go into, and I've been just doing this lately. I'm not going to say, oh, I've been doing this all the time. No, I've been just doing this lately. Where you focus on what you need to as far as the words, like breath and I don't know what breath and means, honestly. So I'm going to go look it up. And then once I find out, then I soap it. Or I can just, you know, just learn the word. And then I go and define it. You know, I look it up, define it. I write down the definition. I write it if it's a verb or a noun or whatever it's going to be. And we take it from there. But there you have the daily scripture writing for day 17. Can you believe it? So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. As always, thank you for watching, and I'm going to get ready right now to upload this video. And talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.